stop traffic. Certainly. What brings you out today? We just wanted to, to demonstrate. My son said do something, put something together. Oh, this is your son. Yeah, this is Adrice. Awesome. Um, and I have Chloe and Joseph are around here somewhere too. But he wanted to do something to show his support for Trayvon's family. And uh, nothing was planned when I looked, and so he said do it. And so I created this from Facebook. Okay. Uh, now there's a. Do you plan on having another event after the uh, uh, grand jury investigation? And uh, I have do you believe no, I, that I have no idea if we're planning any other events or what we're going to do from here. Uh, what if the grand jury finds them not guilty based on the evidence? I don't know. I have no idea what's going to happen then. I, I, I know for me, you know, we're going to continue to be peaceful and worry about our community, and we're going to continue to to act within our rights. Okay. Well, what do you think about the uh, calls for violence and the no justice, no peace uh, chance? That I don't I've been think no hearing. justice, no peace has to mean violence. I think it can mean civil disobedience. I, I think it can mean things like this because we're having a, a this is a peaceful demonstration, but it's loud. We're making yes, a certainly. sound. So when I say no justice, no peace, that's what I mean. I'm not okay. using it as a call to violence. What other people's agendas are, you know, we organized this event and, and we pulled these people together, this crowd in. Certainly. Other people came along, they brought their own agendas and, and what they mean when they yeah, say it, I don't know. Yeah, definitely a grassroots. Uh, right, this was a grassroots effort thanks. and this is for the people. That's why I didn't, I didn't have guest speakers or celebrities. I didn't have politicians coming in because I don't want someone using this as a platform because this was for the people by the people. It's not, it's not, you know, for people to get attention and, and, and you know call for violence or anything else I don't want no more violence certainly That's what I don't uh, do you think the stand your ground law is a good law and uh, what are think, your opinions I on think that? stand your ground laws can be good, but I think they need clarification language put in. I think that there needs to be language added to... Like what kind of language? Language that says once you choose to pursue somebody, you are can no longer considered in fear of your life, and at that point you are not allowed to invoke that law as, as a defense for, for killing someone. I'll do that. Uh, do you think... Uh, uh, because I'll tell you, well, let me tell you, I, the reason I say that, if someone came after me, yeah, by all means, I'm going to stand that my on ground. The, I will stand news. my ground. But, but my whole thing is if I'm in fear of someone, I'm not going to go follow them. I'm not going to pursue okay. them. Uh, well, what if he was keeping an eye on him and observing he did, and he reporting? He did not need to approach him then. He, he, was, he could have done that from his vehicle. He could have done that from a distance. Certainly. And he could have even called out while he had the police on the phone. He could have called out to the boy and said, hey, excuse me, I'm part of Neighborhood Watch. And identified himself, but he didn't do that. He put that 911 person on the call to be his alibi. That's why he was setting the stage when he said, I don't know what he has in his hand. He's, you know, he's looking at me. He was setting the stage so that he would have them as an alibi so that after he did what he was planning on doing, this is my belief. I'm not speaking yeah, for anyone yeah. else. But after he did what he was planning on doing, he could say, hey, the cops have it all on, on, a, on a phone call. I have still my girl. Why do you think he hood hung up the phone and disconnected before he confronted Trayvon? Uh, well, I think on the 911 tape, the, op the operator and him both agreed to get off the phone. And for Again, them to if meet I'm in fear of my life, I'm not letting that person get off the phone with me. Yeah, if I'm really true. genuinely in fear of my life, I'm keeping 911 on well, me until they get there. Uh, I think the, the point that a lot of detractors make is that may, maybe he was walking away and maybe he was attacked. Of course. Maybe who was walking away? Maybe Zimmerman was walking away back to the mailboxes oh, and, and, where and, and, he had agreed to meet the... Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Because today it's just come out. Uh, Yahoo just did a big article. Which, yeah, which I heard that, that that one of Zimmerman's friends and neighbors had come out with a new version of events yeah. uh, that doesn't match what a lot of the other witnesses have already said. Yeah. And that's fine. You know, I understand people want to to defend people they care about. Yeah. Um, do I believe it personally? No. But I'm 
willing to listen to evidence and, and see what happens. Um, I had, you know, we all. This is a. It's a system. It's a judicial system. My whole thing is we will never have complete justice in this case because it was handled inappropriately to begin with. Yes. Yeah, it wasn't investigated you know, properly. Bottom line they, they broke is their own protocol. The whole There's thing's rules, a tragedy. Right. It never. So we'll never be able to go back happened. and drug test, alcohol test, take him into custody right away. We'll never be able to do. We can't even prove his nose was broken at that time because he didn't come forward and say his nose was broken until days later. Yeah. So we, you know, how do we know that he didn't have somebody break his? We don't know. Yeah. I'm not saying don't he did. Know for sure. I'm just saying yeah. we don't know. There's too many questions in doubt there because the, in, the police didn't investigate according to their own protocol. Yeah. And that's all we want. Yeah. Follow your own rules. Certainly Follow I your agree. own rules. They're there for a reason. Okay. So if, if the grand jury, which which the grand jury is expected based on the evidence supporting the lead prosecutor in the case, that the there that there will not be charges filed out of this. That's according to the lead prosecutor. Uh, do, do you believe there should be some sort of discourse afterwards, you know, based on that? I mean, I if he's found not guilty, uh, I, you know, that's a jury of his peers and right, stuff. Right, right. I, I really do think there needs to be some kind of discourse. I don't think it needs to be violent, and I don't think people need to take to the streets and start breaking laws themselves, but I think we do need to, I, I don't know the answer. That's why yeah. I'm hesitant to answer the question, because I don't yeah. have a good solution to that one. Yeah, because something very, very similar happened in England not too long ago. Really? Yeah, there was a young African-American kid that was shot and uh, it basically erupted England into riots. And, oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, I have a friend who lives there, and her car got burned up through all that. Yeah, yes. a lot of cars burned. That's right. Like that. Yes. Awesome. Well, thanks for your interview. I know, I know you're I don't busy and everything. Here. Yeah. I really don't. Yeah. But I do, something does need to be done if they don't even charge him. Let it, let it, at least let a jury of his peers evaluate everything and make a decision together. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very, very much.